NASA's revolutionary Juno probe is on a daring voyage to Jupiter. Its goal? To reveal the deepest mysteries of our solar system. Everything we see in the solar system today is affected by Jupiter somehow in the past or now. All the asteroids, all the planets, the moons, the comets, everything. So in many ways, Juno is actually giving us a view into the history of our planetary system, even the history of Earth. Juno's mission is risky. Jupiter could eat the spacecraft like that. But by diving perilously close to this monstrous world, Juno could change everything we know about our solar system. If you want to know what's happening, you got to get up close and personal. Our solar system plays host to some epic natural wonders. The ice geysers of Enceladus, the giant rings of Saturn, the Martian megavolcano, Olympus Mons. But in July of 2017, NASA's Juno probe skims the surface of Jupiter and photographs the most famous natural wonder. A fierce hurricane-like storm that's been raging for hundreds of years. When you think of Jupiter, one of the most visually stunning, most iconic features of the atmosphere is that great red spot. There is nothing like Jupiter's red spot in our entire solar system. As Juno soars over the great red spot, it looks down onto a storm over 10,000 miles across. This is the most extreme storm. The winds are blowing continuously at 400 miles an hour. On Earth, the most powerful Category 5 hurricanes can unleash almost total destruction. But these are less than half as powerful as the storm on Jupiter. The Great Red Spot is the greatest hurricane that you've ever imagined. But that's not all. Juno's microwave radiometer allows scientists to see through Jupiter's cloud layers for the first time. Juno has instrumentation that's able to look underneath. So one of the things we did was we looked at how deep are the roots. Juno peers down into the eye of this monster storm. It spots temperature changes far below the surface that follow the storm's iconic shape, tracing the roots of the great red spot deep into the Jovian atmosphere. They found out that it goes down over 200 miles deep into the atmosphere. There's nothing like that on Earth. The greatest cyclones of our own planet can reach heights of around 10 miles. But Jupiter's great red spot is over 20 times taller. I think that really brings into perspective the massive scale of this planet. Jupiter's vast, turbulent atmosphere hosts the deepest storm mankind has ever seen. And Juno's discoveries get scientists wondering. Could the Great Red Spot help explain another of Jupiter's mysteries? The planet's surprisingly warm atmosphere? Jupiter lurks out in our outer solar system, where everything is very cold. The sun is very dim when you get that far away. Jupiter is five times farther from the sun than we are, so it's only getting 4% of the amount of energy from the sun that we do. But there's something heating up the atmosphere of Jupiter. There are parts of it that are many times warmer than we can explain with sunlight. The question is, of course, where is that energy coming from? Juno swoops in for another pass on Jupiter, turning its high-resolution cameras on the raging storm below. The storm unleashes vicious turbulence into the surrounding atmosphere, giving scientists the clue they need to explain the planet's high temperature. The Great Red Spot is a giant hurricane that's powered by heat deep in the core of Jupiter, but it has such violent and chaotic motion, it's mixing up the atmosphere around it. The thunderstorms on Jupiter are gonna be generating booming thunder, uh, just the same way that they do here on the Earth. Thunderclouds send sound waves rippling through the storm. A sound wave 
is a wave of pressure, of compression, where air molecules or water molecules get compacted, they get squeezed together. And when you squeeze something together, they're a lot closer together and they're gonna get pretty hot. These sound waves shoot up 500 miles above the storm, where they break, converting sound energy into heat. These sound waves, they crash together, creating a tremendous amount of energy and heating the gases around them. Jupiter's great red spot has helped heat the Jovian atmosphere for hundreds of years, but new images suggest that this may be about to change. Jupiter's red spot is so big. I mean, it's bigger than Earth by a long shot. It seems like it would be an incredibly stable thing. It's just there and it, it's always been there and it always will be. Recently, we've seen it changing. When NASA's Voyager space probe visited Jupiter in 1979, it observed a storm twice the diameter of Earth. In 2017, Juno's images show the great red spot has lost a third of its width, but that's not all. Despite the storm shrinking, it's actually getting taller. The great red spot is being stretched and forced into Jupiter's upper atmosphere. The storms in the great red spot is kind of like the clay on a potter's wheel, where as you bring your hands closer together to draw the clay in, the closer your hands are, the taller the pottery becomes. And similarly for the storm, as it becomes smaller at the base, it raises taller toward the upper atmosphere. It's getting taller, and we see storms do the same thing on Earth, and when it does that, the wind shear will actually take the top of the storm off and drag it apart. And so we'll be watching it very intently over the next few years to see if that's what happens on Jupiter as well. It may be only a matter of time before Jupiter's high altitude winds tear this iconic storm to shreds. The most famous storm of the solar system may soon disappear, but Juno reveals other storms hidden in the strangest of places. The storm in the Great Red Spot is one, but not the only giant storm that's happening on Jupiter. When Juno's titanium armor finally fails, Jupiter's deadly radiation will damage the craft beyond repair. So the team planned to go out with a bang, thrusting Juno into Jupiter's atmosphere, where the craft will be torn to pieces. Eventually, it'll be drawn down into Jupiter's depths and become a part of the planet itself. But before then, Juno has many more mysteries to unlock.